Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss activity life cycle in Android. It is very important to know life cycle of an activity so that to handle different events on right time. So this is a very simple project that I have created and there are two activities. The first one is main activity. We will inspect life cycle of this activity. The second activity is dialogue. We will show this activity as a dialogue from the main activity. So we have set theme of this activity to dialogue so that we can show it as a dialogue. Now coming towards different callback methods of an activity that are used during the life cycle. So the first method is on create. This method is called when an activity is created and comes to an existence. A space is allocated in the memory. The second method is on start. This method is called when an activity becomes visible to the user, but user can't interact with the activity. The third method is on resume. This method is called when an activity comes to the foreground and user can interact with the activity. At this stage, activity has been created, it's visible and user can interact. The fourth method is on pass. This method is called when an activity goes to the goes to the background and user can't interact with the activity although it's visible. The fifth method is on stop. This method is called when an activity is when an activity becomes invisible to the user, although it's there in the memory. The, the last method is on destroy. This method is called when an activity is completely destroyed and removed from the memory by an operating system. So now I'm going to run this application and show behavior of this activity. So right click on main activity and run it. So the application has been run. Now I will show you behavior of this activity. This is the application that I have installed. Now let's open it. When it will open, main activity will get created. And so on create, on start, and on resume methods will be called. So let's open the application. You can see on create, on start, and on resume methods were called. Now the activity has been created. It's visible and user can interact with it. Now let's interact with it by clicking open dialog activity button. This will open dialog activity as dialog that will be floating over this main activity. In this case, on pause method will be called because main activity will go to the background while dialog activity will come to the foreground. So let's click open dialog activity button. You can see on pause method was called. But on stop method was not called because the activity is still visible to the user. Now if I remove the dialog, on resume method will be called because the activity will become again interactive and user will be able to interact with it. So let's remove the dialog. So you can see on resume method was called. This means that the, that the activity has become interactive and user, ca and user can interact with it. 
now if I close the application you can see on pause as well as on stop method methods were called it's because now the activity is no more visible to the user but on destroy method was not called because the activity is still alive and it's there in the memory if I remove the activity from here it will be destroyed and in that case on destroy on destroy method will be called so let's remove the application from here so you can see on destroy method was called it means that the activity has been destroyed and it's no more there in the memory so this was a short demo of activity life cycle that's it for this tutorial thank you